All right, this is the follow-up um, to help some people that have asked me this morning. I was talking to someone, they were asking about some of these agents that pose as public um, uh, government. Um, they were stating that they are not held liable. However, I'm going to read um, what it states upon law, and you can research this for yourself. Do not take my word for it. The question is, can these agents be sued? Well, the law states that all so-called entities posing as public governance, but are really de facto pretender lenders, puppets, pretending to be government, when they are reduced to or subject to using counterfeit, otherwise known as fiat promise to pay, <clears throat> fiat promise to pay debt-based securities notes, unsigned checks, also known as Federal Reserve notes, war debt script that are then deemed to be um, they're then deemed to be private now it says corporations on another thing I'm going to read to you but private citizens hence they can be sued in their private and public capacity <clears> they're <throat> all caps name and their smaller common names once you are in a proper position once you're in your proper position or proper person as a natural <clears throat> um, living flesh and blood being having a flag, your lands as heirs of the vast estate, and probably those um, Europeans who are awake to this knowledge, as gold and silver, known as lawful money, <clears throat> on all the lands globally, um, was removed from circulation. House Joint Resolution 192, June 5, 1933. Hence the Clarifian Doctrine, a famous 1942 Supreme Court case whereby the Clarifian Trust Company the Clarefield Trust Company versus the United States Corporation let the secret out of the bag about the coup d'etat, which took place in the 1800s. I'm just going to read briefly from <clears throat> Scribe here about the case so you can research it for yourself. Um, Mere Private Corporation, Supreme Court annotated statute, Clarefield Trust Company versus the United States, 318 U.S. 363, 371, 1942, whereas it was defined... <clears throat> Pursuant to the Supreme Court annotated statute, the Clarefield Trust Company versus the United States Corporation. Um, I'm going to scroll down here so I, I catch all this. It says at the very bottom of this first page, this case is very important because it is 1942 case that was decided after the United States Corporation Company filed its certificate of incorporation in the state of Florida, July 15, 1925. And it was decided after the corporate government agreed to use the currency of the private corporation, the Federal Reserve. The private currency, the Federal Reserve note, is still in use today. Hence, there was a coup d'etat that took place back in the 1800s. Just look up the date, tell me. If I research it and find the exact date, I'll tell you. And, and any further, the government must be willing to enter the... Okay, as I'm going to go back a little bit. I'm just going to skip a little bit. As such, government then becomes bound by the rules and laws and gov that govern private corporations, which mean that if they intend to compel an individual to some specific performance based upon its corporate statutes or corporation rules, then the government, like any private corporation, must be holder in due course of a contract or other commercial agreement between it and the one upon who demands for specific performance are made. Now, we are the nationals. We're the holder in due course of all because we are the ones that created the Express Trust. Our ancestors created it for us. Hence, they have nothing. What the Clarefield Doctrine is saying is that when private commercial paper is used by the corporate government, then government loses its sovereignty status and becomes no different than a mere private corporation, private citizen. Um, anyways, it goes on to say, whereas defined by the pers defined pursuant to the Supreme Court annotated statute, Clarefield Trust Company versus the United States 318 U.S. 363- 371-1942, governments descend to the level of mere private corporation and take on the characteristics of a mere private citizen, where private corporate commercial paper, Federal Reserve notes and securities checks is concerned for purposes of suit. Such corporations and individuals are regarded as entities entirely separate from government. There you have it. It's written in the law books. This is a Supreme Court case that has been used by us Moors to remedy several matters over the years. Research it, read it, subscribe, join me on Patreon. I'm going to post some of this stuff there. You can download it from there. 
you can go on and research yourself download it from Google have a great day and um, yeah that's it so just just know that yes they can be sued in their private capacity that was the premise of this particular video thank you